Howdy do y'all, this is John, and welcome back to my third annual Horror-a-thon. Today, we are talking about Grave Encounters, an independent horror film released in 2011. Then Grave Encounters, it deals with this group of paranormal researchers who are documenting this abandoned insane asylum, and it turns out this insane asylum is haunted by ghosts, and the ghosts are picking them off one by one. Okay, so to get things started, I have not seen this movie in eight years. I always try to at least review one horror film that came out when I was growing up during these horror marathons, and I was a little bit nervous. I was a little bit nervous because I reviewed Apollo 18 a couple of years ago. I loved it as a kid, and it was stupid. And I had good memories of this film. And honestly, even after all this time has passed, I still enjoyed it. To get things started, first and foremost, the main character is actually pretty well developed. His name's Lance Preston. When you get to know him, he's basically a con artist. He fakes these things. None of these places are haunted. And then he gets to this insane asylum and it is haunted, and he's just like, okay. However, as the movie progresses, he starts to lose his mind over time. And honestly, this transition is completely believable. You buy it every second throughout the pot process. And they did do some really cool stuff with this film. Because, yes, it's haunted, it's a haunted building, but once they try to leave, they find out they can't leave. And it's not something like, the doors can't be broken in, or anything like that. Because the ghosts are just changing out the layout of this insane asylum. They break down the front door, and instead of it leading to the outside, there is another hallway. And every time they try to find an exit, there's another hallway. Or there's another room. These ghosts just will not let them out under any circumstances. And that is pretty creepy. And while the story is, yes, basic and simple, it gets the job done. It gets the job done to bring you these scares to try and create a very eerie, very creepy story. So it's not bad, and it gets the job done. However, I very much hesitate to call this movie perfect, because ultimately there's some very cheesy CG work in the film. There's thankfully not a lot, but when you notice it, you notice it. And even though the movie starts off doing what you should be doing with ghosts in a ghost movie, by not showing the ghosts, eventually they do show the ghosts, brings things down quite a bit. So, has this movie stood the test of time with my changing tastes? Yes, thankfully. Is it perfect? No, it's not. It's a solid horror movie that does what it needs to do, but it's not perfect. It is very low budget, but in my opinion, it's still worth a watch. I'm gonna give Grave Encounters a7. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Once again, I will be uploading more horror reviews every Wednesday until Halloween. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, please remember, the Bodetsky will return.